In 1999, a $125 million NASA orbiter burned up in the Martian atmosphere. With years of planning, how could something like this happen? It came down to two organizations failing to realize they were using two different standards. In this video, we'll explain how Unicode was designed to address this type of problem. At its simplest, Unicode is a standard for representing a wide range of characters and symbols. Every character is assigned a code point, which is really just a number that uniquely identifies it. For many years, the ASCII standard was adequate, but it was limited to representing a maximum of 128 characters. Because of this, a large number of mathematical symbols, diacritics, emoji, and the like could not possibly be included. The Unicode standard solves this limitation by allowing for over 1 million code points, a much larger code space than ASCII. Technically, Unicode is two standards created by the joint forces of an ISO working group and the Unicode Consortium in 1991. ISO 10646 is the published standard that defines a universal coded character set, also known as Unicode. The Unicode Consortium has a standard that is identical to ISO 10646, and both groups keep their standards in sync with each other. Here's just a taste of what's included in the Unicode standard. Languages such as English, Greek, Arabic, Cyrillic, and Cherokee, mathematical symbols, emoji, and a large number of privately reserved characters. The code points in Unicode are represented using hexadecimal notation. For 1, for example, the number 65 represented in hexadecimal is defined to represent capital A. 2-1, the number 33 in hexadecimal, is defined to represent an exclamation mark. Three different encoding schemes exist for Unicode, UTF-8, UTF-16, and UTF-32. Each uses a different number of bits as its base unit. UTF-8 is notable for its backwards compatibility with the ASCII character set, but also its ability to represent more than 128 code points, all without increasing the size of files encoded purely with ASCII. Unicode is large enough to support 1,114,112 code points. The Unicode set is divided into 17 areas called coding planes, each with 65,536 code points. These sets are even further divided into variable length coding areas called blocks, each of which has its own unique purpose. The basic multilingual plane, for example, is the first plane, plane 0, and it contains the most widely used characters and writing systems. The first 128 code points in the basic multilingual plane comprise the ASCII subset of Unicode and represent the basic Latin block. Using a defined set of characters like Unicode, information can be interchanged. It allows for computers to operate and for them to interoperate. NASA was using metric units, and Lockheed Martin was using imperial units in 1999. Two different standards led to the demise of a Martian probe. Imagine how this applies to an everyday situation like texting. You send a message to a friend whose phone doesn't use Unicode. On the other end, the message doesn't come through exactly as expected.